morning okay so y'all this is my first attempt in doing a vlog so i don't know how it's gonna come out i'm gonna try to do it to the best of my ability but it's gonna be what it's gonna be so good morning um it's thursday i'm headed to a commercial shoot that i have it's for an industrial for a really really big name brand and so headed to set uh, they asked me to bring five tops i got those here I got my caboodle but like makeup and hair products which i'm gonna give you a tour of that okay so like i said this vlog is gonna be probably all over the place so anyway normally the day before a shoot i always go get fill up my gas tank um not fill it up because you know gas is expensive but if it's low or i know i have to go depending on the distance like if i'm going to a studio that's like less than 10 minutes away and I have a quarter tank of gas then I could probably get away with it but if I'm going someplace a little bit further out maybe 15 20 minutes or further um I always just it's just keep gas in your car so I really feel comfortable with like a half a tank of gas um for most places that I go I've never really had to go like hours out for a shoot um yet hopefully They'll send a car to come pick me up if that happens. But I normally go get gas the night before. This week has been just extremely, extremely busy. I, I, and I totally got sidetracked last night. And as I got in the bed, midnight, because I wanted to go to bed early, but then that's another story I'm gonna tell y'all. Got in the bed, I think it was like midnight, close to midnight, like 11.45 or something like that. Um, I was like, oh my God, I forgot to get the gas. Oh my God. <laughs> So I was like, I gotta leave a little bit earlier. Like I put it in my ways. Um, and that's another thing that I do the night before. I always put in the address to where I'm going um, in my ways because that's, that's gonna inform me of like what time I need to leave. And so if I know what time I need to leave, then I know what time I need to get up because I know that I have to do X, Y, and Z or, you know, like for today's shoot, I believe they told me to have be makeup ready. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, I believe that they did say that. Um, for most shoots, they do ask you to be makeup ready anyway, but there's a lot of shoots as well, especially uh, like union shoots where you just come. I, those are the ones I love. You just, you just come, you ain't gotta bring no wardrobe, you ain't gotta bring no makeup, nothing. But I always think that it's good as an actor just to just have a little, you know, caboodle with like your, especially women, have your little caboodle with like your basic, your makeup basics in there because you just never know. Um, and bring that to you with your shoots. I have mine. My sister and my niece gifted me a caboodle a few years back and it really comes in handy because I put in a few hair products, some hair stuff, some makeup, and um, you know, things that I will need on set, whatever. And I really, really love that thing. So I think it's just necessary to have that because you know, you get to a lot of sets and I'm sure you hear a lot of black women talk about, you know, we get to sets and they don't know how to do our hair. So that's another thing, I did my hair the night before actually this is a wash and go um and what i did last night i just twisted it up and stretched it out a little bit slept on it took it out this morning um so really when i get to set if there's no hair person there i know how to do my hair so all i if they want me to put it up in a ponytail if they want it to if they want me to just keep it like this i'll just you know make this a little bit more you know nicer i have some gel for my edges and stuff like that i can do that when i get to set um so yeah um so i'm headed to set now well i'm headed to to get gas right now um so going to get gas and then i head to set so i will uh check in with you guys um you know as i arrive to set so um should be a really exciting day oh one quick thing i forgot to tell y'all so i in my videos i always talk about being flexible when it comes to just production in general whether it's commercials tv or film because scripts can change and things of that nature so i should have known better so when my oh my gosh i just realized that i left my age my voucher and the nda you know what oh child i just i just got too much going on this week my brain is just like has left the building i might be able to, i might have time to go back home i don't even know if it's worth it i might be able to just print it from there so anyway I printed the voucher and I printed the NDA and I left it. But 
But anyway, I say all that to say I have been studying this script. It was a six-page script. Lots of ad copy jargon for this specific brand and stuff like that. And the thing with ad copy is sometimes it's not necessarily a way that normal people talk, but it's copy that they need to use so that they can really advertise to their customers or potential clients, whatever. So certain words, keywords, um, advertisers will use, you know, um, to just pop out, to stick out to people, to draw people in. Um, so, and they're associated with the brand. So anyway, I have been studying this script, you know, for about past four days, whatever, six page script. Last night, just out of nowhere, I'm like, maybe I should just run these lines with somebody. I never do that. I never, you know, just practice lines, but it was like, it was just a lot. So I'm like, okay. So I get on the audition, I find a reader, I find, I go into my email, I find the, um, the script. So we start reading. We're less than like less than two minutes in, and he skips a line. I'm like, wait, you skipped a line? He's like, no, I didn't skip a line. But I'm like, no, I was supposed to say this, and then you say that, whatever. And he's like, no. He's like, no, what I have. And I'm like, really? Wait, hold up, wait. What do you mean? I go and look at the copy of the script that I gave him, and it says final. I said, what? I start skimming through it. I see that it's a different script than what I have. He has the final script. So I go back to my email and realize that the producer sent a final script two days ago when four days ago, my agent sent me the script with the NDA and, you know, um, the NDA and the uh, voucher. I've been studying that and I didn't realize because I just been so busy and I, I did not see two days ago when he sent the final script. Now, granted, he didn't say in his email, I, I, I responded to all his emails that he sent. He didn't say, oh, attached is a final script. He didn't say that. Um, so I'm like, okay, Kim, give yourself a little bit of grace there. Um, because I did review his th three, three emails that he sent me. He asked about like the sizes of my, my clothing, uh, food options, different things of that nature. And so I responded to that. But I didn't realize that in one of those emails, he actually attached the final script. But he didn't say also attaches the final script or here's the final script. It was like, thank you guys so much for joining us. Call time is at 930. Da, 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 da. We're going to meet here. We're going to need you to have um, these type of five tops. We're going to be ordering you tops for the brand, blah, blah, whatever. And he never mentioned in any of those emails, three emails that he sent that, oh, here is a final updated script. So I, I didn't see it. And last night, when I was just reading, that's how I feel like the universe was like really helped me out last night. God came through last night because then I was able to um, just literally look at the final script and literally have my old script and literally just just literally write in new lines because my printer's broke. Great, right? Um, it's not broke. I just need new ink. So yeah, it's kind of broke. Um, so I literally was writing the lines out with, with pen and um, then after I wrote everything out, I just started going over. I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to go to bed early tonight. I had my clothes ready. My mate, everything was all ready. I was going to go to bed at like 1030, yada, yada. <sighs> and so anyway, I didn't want to go to bed to like a little closer to 12. But I was able to get a lot of the new verbiage down. So we'll see how today's go today goes. Um, supposedly, they may have a teleprompter on set. That'd be phenomenal if they do. Um, but again, even if there is a teleprompter on set, I do still highly recommend that you uh, memorize that script. So I have the script memorized and the new verbiage that I learned last night, it's, I have it about 90% down, um, make it scene by scene and it's going to get done and we, and it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So yeah, that's what, you know, when I talk about being flexible, because you know, that's my bad, but production could just send something this morning and say, oh my gosh. We have to change some things around and you're on your way to set. So, you know, it happens, but we're actors, we're professional actors and we got this, we're going to do this. And all right, y'all, I'll check back in. So let me get this gas. Woo.
So I am coming from my wonderful shoot. It's around three o'clock right now. We are wrapped. It was a really, really great shoot. And they have a huge compound here. Um, I've never been to before, even though I've done many Home Depot industrials, I've never done like on site at their headquarters. Um, it really reminds me of Google. Like, you know how they say Google's compound out in California, they have like all these amenities and it's like stores and all that kind of stuff. That's what they have here. Like they have a basketball court, dry cleaning service. They have a, a huge Starbucks. I heard there's a really, really big cafeteria. I didn't get a chance to see that, but it is like deluxe, sweet, orange, lounge chairs. Like it's really, really a cool place. I'm like, wow, it's a cool place to work, I'm sure. But anyway, the shoot went very, very well. So three o'clock, about to head home. Um, yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> um, but anyway, I had a phenomenal day on set. I met some really great actors. My main co-star, he was just phenomenal. Um, he is, you know, local actor here in Atlanta. He does mostly voiceover. We're signed with the same agency. So we had some really, really great conversations. And I learned a lot about the voiceover game. Because y'all know I'm trying to get more into the voiceover game. Like, just do more consistent work with that. Um, yeah, we just talked about every. Oh, my God. He, we had great chemistry, great vibes on set. Um, turn left. Really, really good. turn left. Because I'm an employee of the company, when you know the, the company or the service or product that you're going out for, um, that will kind of inform you the tone of the type of clothes that you're bringing. Or you could just ask the producer or the talent coordinator, the person that's emailing you the information. Um, sometimes they do want you to bring wardrobe. Sometimes they don't want you to bring wardrobe. Sometimes they just want you to bring a few pieces to add into what they already have. Sometimes they don't have wardrobe at all. If it's a really, really low, low budget. Sometimes they don't, you don't have to bring anything because when you get there, you just, you told them your sizes ahead of time. And when you get there, they have everything that they want you to wear for the commercial, okay? Usually those are bigger budget commercials, um, like advertising campaigns, I noticed, like bigger campaigns. But anyway, so for today's shoot, uh, I'm basically just bringing some of my audition uh, wardrobe because basically the majority of the roles that I audition for anyway are kind of like very parallel in a lot of ways. So when I book a job, usually the job is like, similar to what I'm auditioning for because I go out for very similar roles. Nurses, lawyers, teachers, social workers, employees, um, uh, you know, secretaries, uh, legal people. Like, you know, those, th those are like my, those are my types that I go out for. So my wardrobe already really kind of like is relative to those types in certain ways. So it's not really that hard to pick some things out of my audition closet okay so i just basically um i have this this is like one of my favorites to wear um it's just a basic gray blazer and i have a just a blue top underneath um i've got just a regular white kind of shirt See, I've got this like pink type of blouse. I've got this blue basic shirt. And again, this.